In this video, we will show you how to fix a Samsung Galaxy S21 that won't turn on. Firmware issues occur every now and then. There are even times when a premium smartphone like the Galaxy S21 powers itself down and would no longer turn on. As long as it's not due to a hardware problem, you will be able to fix it, especially if it occurred without apparent reason or cause. If you're one of the users with this kind of issue, here's what you should do. First solution, check for signs of physical damage. As the owner, you must know if such a problem is caused by either a physical or liquid damage. So the first thing that you have to do if your device no longer responds, is to check its physical state. Just do a physical inspection of your phone to see if there are some cracks, dents and other signs of physical damage. You may also have to look into the charging port to see if it's wet or has some foreign materials suspended in it. After making sure that your phone doesn't have visible signs of either physical or liquid damage, do the next procedure. Second solution, force restart your phone. Assuming that the problem just occurred without apparent reason or cause, the next thing that you need to do is to try and force it to boot up. You can do so by performing the forced restart. It's a simulated battery removal that often forces your device to start even if its system has crashed. Here's how you do it. Press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 8 seconds. This often triggers the phone to boot up. If the logo shows on the screen, you may release the keys and allow the device to continue the boot process. More often than not, this procedure is enough to make your device respond and work perfectly again. However, if the problem still persists and your Galaxy S21 is still stuck on the black screen, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, charge your phone and do the forced restart. It is possible that it's just due to a drained battery. The thing about it is that the firmware might crash if you allow the device to run out of juice completely. That might be the case here. So what you have to do next is to charge the device and do the forced restart while it's connected to the charger. Here's how it's done. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet. Connect your phone to it using the original cable. Regardless of whether the phone shows the charging sign or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After a few minutes of charging, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds. If the logo shows, then release both keys and wait until the boot process is complete. Again, as long as you can make the logo show on the screen, that's a sign that the problem is already fixed. But if your device is still not responding after this, then it's time to have it checked. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.